Mavic Air 2 with a 48 megapixel camera. This drone is loaded. And the newest thing they've added is hyperlapse mode. So a lot of people keep asking me, how do you do a hyperlapse? Well, stick around and I'll show you. There are four hyperlapse modes. Free, Circle, Course Lock, and Waypoints. All right. So I'm up in the woods to get some firewood. I decided I'd go ahead and show everybody how you do a hyperlapse. So from your regular screen, control screen, click on the little film symbol and scroll down to hyperlapse. Uh, from this point, you have four choices, free, circle, counter, course lock, and waypoints. Um, I'm gonna go up to the camera settings and turn off, oh, it's already off. Go into 1080p. This one allows you to get more intervals. I'm gonna do a, uh, let's go for a 10 second video. We'll lower the max speed to 2.2 miles per hour. Two second intervals. And I wanna do a circle. So I'm gonna select myself as the subject. Once you've selected your subject, then you just click the red button. And it'll do its thing. It's gonna take eight minutes and 20 seconds to finish. It'll take 250 pictures. One thing I like about the 1080p hyperlapse is you get more intervals compared to when you go to 8K. It only gives you six second intervals is the smallest amount you can choose. This one you can go all the way down to two second intervals. Plus it takes less time. When you're doing those six second intervals, it takes forever up there. What I find odd is they give you the ability to go through and set it up for like, you know, a 15 second video. However, the battery length won't even go that long, usually, especially not on AK. It'll pop up with a warning, but it's like, why even give that option if you can't do it? I mean, even at 100%, I couldn't do that. So here's the end result. I found out some interesting things, like you can change altitude while doing it. And also certain angles will make you super dizzy. To switch from 1080p to 8K, go to the three dots in the right hand corner, go to camera, go down to resolution, and click 8K. I'll warn you ahead of time, 8K takes a lot of memory. Now you can adjust your exposure settings. However, you're limited to six second intervals, which sometimes makes your videos choppy, especially if you have a lot of action in them. This particular 8K hyperlapse took 10 minutes to film, but it's only a five second video. And as you can see, when you catch moving objects, they look kind of trippy in the hyperlapse. Out of all the modes, free mode is the easiest. The trick is just slowing down your speed and slowing down your movements. The settings can be changed whenever you change hyperlapse modes. Each time it will bring up a list of options for the length of the video, the intervals, and the speed of the drone, and the direction. Free mode and circle mode are pretty self-explanatory. But lock course 
and waypoints can be a little bit more complicated. With course lock, you have to be sure to lock your direction before you highlight the subject that you want to film. You just have to make sure that your subject is in the frame. It doesn't have to be dead center. Once you've locked your direction and you hit action, the drone will follow that direction and take pictures of the subject that you highlighted. The drone will continue in the locked position while taking pictures of the highlighted subject. Even if the low battery warning comes up, it will continue to shoot the hyperlapse as long as you're not down below 10%. Once the hyperlapse has completed, allow the drone to process the video. This is one of my favorite hyperlapse modes and I think this one turned out really good. The final hyperlapse I want to go over is waypoints. In this mode you can set the drone to fly to different areas while shooting photos along the flight path at different angles. When you are setting your camera angles it will tell you whether it's too far of an angle to generate a hyperlapse. We'll set two waypoints. Check the settings here. Two seconds in there, two seconds in. See reverse sequence. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the aircraft is heading to the first waypoint. So it's going to last a minute. So this is a fast one. This is an 8K hyperlapse reverse sequence waypoint. While 8K is a really high resolution, I don't think the hyperlapse videos turn out as well. Mainly because you're limited to 6 second intervals. This one is 8K and the next one is 1080p. And personally, I think the 1080p turned out better. Plus, it makes more sense with the added length. During any hyperlapse, you can also drag your camera to view a different angle. All in all, I found these hyperlapses to take a lot of battery life and a lot of my time. While it is a cool feature, I think I'd rather just film in 4K.